Hi, The Bee Sting by Paul Murray, um, long listed for this year's bookers. 650 pages. <laughs> Excuse the sun, it's, it keeps glaring. Um, and wow, this was a, a certainly a, an experience to read. It's set in Ireland and we have the Barnes family who are in Meltdown. Dickie um, runs a car dealership that his father owns, but the recent economic um, recession has caused financial ruin and business is dire, plummeting. Um, so Dickie's response is to go off into the wood to build uh, an, a bunker for the end of the world. His wife, Amelda, she's the town beauty. And, it's, and, from now, and now, instead of being the sort of person who buys and buys and buys every time she goes shopping, she is now having to sell, sell, sell. He's got two children, Cass, who is waiting for her exam results that will decide her future. Does she go to Trinity in Dublin or does she have to stay at home? Um, so she's turning to drink. And then you've got 12 year old PJ who is having to face down the town bully because the town bully wants the money that he believes that PJ's father, Dickie, swindled out of his mother. So all of these things are going on. Just a normal family, really. Um, but each member of this family has got secrets. And they've all told lies. And as the blurb says here, as the blurb says right at the very beginning, the present is in meltdown, but the causes lie deep in the past. If you wanted to change this story, how far back would you have to go? To the car crash 12 months before Cass was born, to the infamous bee sting, which were ruined Imelda's wedding, or all the way back to Dickie at 10 years old, trembling before his father in the garden as he's been taught to be a real man. So you've got all of these secrets and lies. And as it says, which event caused this tra downward trajectory. The first half of the book, you have got basically a chapter, almost a chapter for each family member, quite long chapters. And you learn about the family member, you learn about Dickie, you learn about Imelda, you learn about Cass, you learn about PJ, and you also learn their backstories and what has happened to them to bring them to where they are now. Um, in fact, in Melda's section, it seems to be almost without punctuation. And I think that could be a, it, it, it wouldn't have been, it, it wouldn't have made a mistake. It's stylistic choice and why he's chosen Imelda's um, chapter to lose the um, punctuation. Is it trying to show us her state of mind? I, I don't know. You know, you, come and tell me, you, you tell me, this is, this is me, me thinking this. Then after the sec first half, then the chapters seem to get shorter and shorter and the author switches to second person you know you're doing this you see this you 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 uh, uh, why um again my mind is is this so that it's the reader asking you're doing this now you know is, is it the reader questioning Again, you tell me what, what you think. I'd love to know. And then the last 100 pages or so. Wow. Wow. The 
pace gets so, so fast and you can't put it down. It's, oh, oh, I've got to keep reading. I've got to keep reading. I've got to keep reading because the, it's getting faster and faster and faster and faster and you don't know what's going to happen. And then I will leave you to tell me what you think of the ending because I still haven't got my head around it. Not yet. I, I, I still can't decide what I think about the ending and I think and it's the ending for me that stops this being a five star. And the only way I can think of describing it, and this is going to sound really, really, really odd, it's as though I'm being chased through the woods. There's something behind me and I'm being, I'm, I'm running and running and running and trying to get away and my breath is, I'm, get, I'm gasping, I'm gasping, my heart is pounding. And, and at that precise moment when I can't run anymore, uh, and I, I just fall to my knees, I look behind and there's nothing there. And I think, why was I running? And uh, this, this is the only way I can think of how the ending did that. What, what the, it, that is what the ending did to me, how it made me feel. You know, what? 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 Um, you'll have to decide. Let me know. I, I'd love to know what other people think about the ending, what, the, what they think about the book, what they think about the switches from into second person and you know things like that. Um, it wasn't my favourite. I enjoyed the ride at the end. I enjoyed that <gasps> chase when my heart was racing and I couldn't put it down. I oh. It's a long time since I've had a, a book when I've just, oh, I, I've got to finish it. I've got to finish it. I don't care what time I switch the light off tonight. I am going to finish this book. Um, it's a long time since I've had one of those. And um, yeah, it's it's not my favourite. But I think it, it, it maybe has got potential to win. Let me know what you think. I'd love to know. Anyway, so that was that one. I've got... The other Eden to pick up from the library tomorrow, so I can start that. So I've just got the other Eden and then an Ascension, whenever the library delivers an Ascension. But I'll be able to start reading the other Eden tomorrow. So, happy reading. Take care.